What's going on, guys? This is Boss Jansen, and today we're going to round out our Back to Basics series by looking in depth at reverb. I have a song in front of me called Mio Vaova by Neil Raza. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And I think it'd be great for this lesson, so let's check it out. So as I've said in our other videos, I'm using a logic for this lesson. I'm not the greatest at logic, so if there's anybody that sees anything I could be doing more smoothly or more efficiently, please let us know in the comments. We're all trying to learn. And with that being said, if you haven't checked out the three other videos as yet, it might be a good idea to backtrack and check those out first before you dive in here. But if not, let's dive into some reverb. So we have Neoni's lovely voice in front of us again. We're going to look at this verse section again. But let's set up a track for some reverb, which I can't stress enough is always easier when you send it through a bus. So just set up a bus, make sure you're sending signal there. We're going to call this guy reverb. And load up Space Designer. It's a great reverb plugin. I wish they had it in Pro Tools. There's so many options with it. It uh, makes everything very easy. So with that being said, let's talk about a couple of these uh, basic important parameters. I am going to leave a couple of them out because they're a little too advanced and, and not really necessary for most common uses. But let's check it out. So we have pre-delay, length, dry, and wet. That's the basics of what we need here, really. So if we go left to right, pre-delay is our time in milliseconds, or I noticed you, you can sync it to a note division within the song if you have the tempo laid out. So it's literally the time it takes for the reverb to realize sound has come into it, and how long in milliseconds before it spits out some reverb. I mean, that can be whatever you need it to be, sometimes longer if you want it to be more subtle, and shorter if you want it to be more obvious. It is common to want to use some pre-delay to make sure the reverb doesn't wash out your vocal and it stays nice and in front and clear. So I don't know why I typically gravitate around 20 to 30 milliseconds. So the length is obviously the length of time that the reverb will sound for. So this default is set up to 1.3 seconds, which is a little longer than I typically gravitate towards, but not too long by any means. Then your dry and wet is literally the amount of dry signal. So the original that you send into the reverb, no reverb added, dry signal versus your wet signal, which is only reverb sound. And when you use a send like this, you don't need any of the dry and you just give it all of the wet because the dry is already coming from our track that we have initially and the send is just so we have the reverb on its own track that we can control independently so that's why i always set my reverbs up to a bus and have zero dry and only wet so let's pick out a nice preset for neoni uh, as far as vocals i like to start with a plate reverb that's a nice little sense of room and pow, <laughs> uh, for the vocal to sit in and just kind of give it a little bit of life so let's start with bright vocals, half a second of length. I'm gonna give it some pre-delay, crank up that wet, and let's see what it sounds like. Yeah, maybe a little bit harsh for this scenario, but yeah, you can hear immediately that the reverb kicked in. Another thing to then just check out is just flicking between your options. And that's why I love this space designer so much because it just really lays out all your options for you. And then for more subtle things that you can chuck in the background to make your song sound bigger than life is getting a nice big, you know, cave uh, of a reverb. Let me throw some pre-delay just because I like doing that and see what that sounds like and see how we can dip that in the background to grow this out. Yeah, again, a bit more than we need, but I mean, 
just flick through your options and play around with stuff. Reverb is really to give the song a sense of space. And when you have, you know, electronic uh, components and a voice and, you know, a guitar recorded totally separately and whatever it may be, it's the tool that you use to kind of glue everything together and make everything feel cohesive and in the same space. And it can do a lot to add emotions. If you add dramatic reverbs and whatnot that are longer or like fading in or just, you know, extending a last syllable, it's where a lot of the emotion of the song comes from. So there's a lot to play around with when it comes to reverbs, especially in this space designer. Again, great reverb for just tinkering around and trying things out. But other than that, if I didn't make anything clear, please leave questions in the comments. And if there's any other topics that you want me to cover, please leave them in the comments. Uh, other than that, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any gems. And other than that, have fun mixing.